Good evening, and welcome to the 2021 First United Methodist Church Preschool Christmas Program. Um, tonight we celebrate the greatest event in um, all human history, and that is the birth of Jesus Christ, God's Son. And I would like to thank a few people for helping us. Um, I would like to thank Pastor Tim Roberts for helping us. He has been telling us about the Christmas story at chapel every week and about that during the Advent season. And we would like to um, thank Robbie Combs for helping with the programs and some of the props and the, being our pianist for tonight. Um, I'd also like to thank Kim Fitzpatrick, my um, assistant, Miss Kathy and Miss Candy, Miss Judy and Miss Jamie, and all these children for all their hard work because they've been practicing since, since uh, before um, Thanksgiving. So sit back and enjoy as we tell the story of the birth of Jesus, and I'm going to hand this over to um, Pastor Tim. Well, welcome to First United Methodist Church, and um, let's begin with a word of prayer. So pray with me. Well, gracious God, as we come into this uh, room tonight, we expect your presence to be with us, and you're going to be revealing the greatest story ever told through uh, the, the talents of our youngest brothers and sisters. So God, open our hearts and our minds so that we can relive this event and make it real for us this evening. And we pray that you will be with all the boys and girls and give them your glory. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Would everyone join us in the first verse? The uh, words are found in your program. O little town of Bethlehem. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Join with me in the next, uh, in the first verse of Heart Down, Angels Sing. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, 
and on earth, peace to men to whom his favor rests. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born the king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Jesus was a king for all people, and one day every knee will bow before him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. 
Then they opened their treasures and presented him gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. If you guys want to clap, right now is a good time. They did a wonderful job. I'm so happy. Um, and we want to sing one more song for you. been very important to this preschool. That's my husband, Ed. You guys have seen him direct in traffic, and he does pretty much anything we ask him to do around here. So um, thank you for being the narrator tonight. <laughs> I'm going to hand this back over to um, Pastor Tim. Um, yes, if, the, if you will walk them to the classroom and leave their costume on their table. Um, the four-year-olds have their plates to take home, so be sure and pick those up. Um, we are currently registering for next school year, so if you know anyone that is looking for a preschool, have them call me on January 3rd. All right. And guys, thank you so much. You did wonderful. I knew you would. There you go. And here, Father. And thanks to Kristen for all she has done. I just want to let you know that if, if by chance I saw a lot of phones out, but if it didn't come out, check our Facebook page. Just search for First United Methodist Church Lincolnton. It's live right now. It'll be on our Facebook page, so you can go back and we've got it. The sound's good on it as well. And also, if you're looking for a church home, give us a try. Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock, Sunday school at 10. We've got Sunday school for all this age as well. And also, Christmas Eve service at 5 o'clock uh, on Christmas Eve. But let me send you out with this uh, benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance, his blessing upon each and every one of us. 
and give us all peace. Amen.